In this video, I'll be speaking about how to resolve the issue of blurry renders when rendering with Unreal's sequencer. So basically, um, the sequencer is this interface right here. And what you would normally do is you would hit this button here. And then, you know, it would say render out your video sequence. You can choose from here, you can choose an image pass or an AVI. In this instance, I'll use an AVI. I mean, I've tested this with um, EXR sequences as well. And you hit capture movie and it then goes and captures out the sequence, right? Blurry. You know, I've got a nice texture on the floor. Um, you know, everything looks really, really, you know, you can't see the texture. You can't see the texture in the lights. You can't see the texture on the tires. And if I play through this, you can see it's very, very soft, right? So basically, this is the issue we're trying to address, which is getting these really soft renders. So really, really um, very blurry renders out of the sequencer in Unreal Engine. Now, I looked around to find a solution for this for weeks. Um, scout through the documentation and I found uh, this guide here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll make a little blog post and drop you the link for this. And basically what it says is that the high quality media export is a successor to the sequence of render movie feature and is built in for higher quality, easy integration into production pipelines and user extensibility. So if you want to render for anything other than game, then you need to use this new method. Um, so the way you do this is you go to window, you go to cinematics and you hit this movie render queue uh, thing here, right? This window, this, this interface. So basically then what you do is you go to render and you bring in your shot and it gives you this setting here to set up your configuration, you know, and where to output it. So what you can do is you can come into here and it's got presets. You, you know, I've, I've set up presets here for high quality cinematic settings. This is something that I got. And this was based off another documentation that I picked up from the Unreal site. So basically if I use, this is a preset that I've used. If I use this, then it gives me these settings. So basically you can go in and, you know, I've chosen to render as a ping, ping sequence. Um, deferred rendering, obviously, in terms of anti-aliasing, you know, I've got one in 64. Um, you know, you obviously need to look at the documentation to pick up these settings. And then I've given it a render warm-up count of 120. You give it a warm-up count of, a, you know, a few hundred frames before it starts just to let the engine, you know, sort out the anti-aliasing and um, other functions. And then obviously there's this whole bit on console variables. You know, you can add motion blur quality, um, you know, better blur, depth of field quality, bloom quality, tone mapper quality, ray tracing, global illumination, uh, you know, max bounces, reflections, max roughness, uh, reflections, max bounces. And this would depend on what you're trying to achieve. This is in the documentation and I will link it up. So once you render with these settings, then you get a very different result. Um, what I'll do is I'll fire up Nuke, uh, where I've rendered out an image sequence for this. And I'll very, very quickly show you what it produces. It's just loading up, so bear with me. So I've got the sequence rendered out here from the movie render queue window. Right, so what I did was I went to Window, Cinematics, Movie Render Queue, right? And if you look at it, I'm playing it here in Nuke, um, so it's going to update a little bit slower, but you can see it's, it's actually a lot sharper, right? It's a lot sharper, it's a lot clearer, it's a world away. If you look at this floor texture here, it's a world away from what we had in the... Um, uh, you know, initial, so I'll just load up the entire sequence, so I'll play it through. So, for some reason, it doesn't want to play ball. Okay, it's not attached to the uh, buffer. There we go. So if you look at this, I mean, you can tell, you know, 
how clear the texture is on the floor you, know, you can see the lights texture you can see the tire texture here obviously it's a bit dodgy because um you know of my i needed to rebuild my lighting which i didn't do but it's a lot clearer it's you know a lot crisper you can see the detail here so basically what you need to do is to stop using the sequencer if you're rendering out for like um uh you know traditional uh, renders you know if you're looking for high quality renders you need to stop using the sequencer window this is unreal 4.25.3 and you need to use the cinematics and movie render queue and i will link this video up with the relevant articles and um, an art and, and and the settings that you need to use it's a little bit different but um, this is how you resolve blurry renders in unreal engine 4.25.3 this is george from george um, if you like this video please subscribe and like thank you for your time